it's not unusual when you're visiting your local nurseries to find wonderful flowering plants available, oftentimes associated with holiday seasons. Easter being right around the corner, you're going to find all kinds of wonderful plants in pastel colors. This is one of my very favorite. These are called primroses. Primula obconica is the Latin name of this plant. This is the primrose we tend to grow here in the deep south. Now this is a lovely container plant. They can be planted into the ground in shady areas. They will thrive in a very shady area, but they love it cool. So these primroses are going to be flowers that will be with us through the month of March, April, and as it gets hot in May, they'll kind of start uh, winding down at that time. At that point, you can pull them up and discard them in your compost pile. They're lovely in containers. Imagine these sitting on a table outside or in a window in a cool room in your house. They do like it cool to make sure you keep the soil moist, feel it uh, every day or two, and when it starts to feel the least bit dry, water thoroughly. Again, a nice window indoors or a, a table outside or even in a bed if you'd like to. Now, another plant you may see this time of the year, these are kalanchoes, and kalanchoes bloom when the days are short and the nights are long. These are winter blooming plants. While you'll throw away these primroses when they finish, when these kalanchoes finish up, cut the old flowers off, keep the plants in a nice bright window indoors or on a table outside for the summer and these plants will come back into bloom for you in the winter every year when the days are short and the nights are long. So primroses, kalanchoes, two beautiful plants to use for decorating for Easter and lovely additions to your garden as well. Forget it growing, I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.